Welcome to this launch of the 100 day countdown to Project Edward 2021. It's uh, come around very quickly for us. It might have for you as well, but uh, got quite a busy agenda, but we're not intended to keep you too long today. We're going to just uh, after these words of welcome, we're going to look at our launch video, which marks the point at which we launched the uh, countdown to uh, September. We're going to just uh, mark that with uh, a quick look at our countdown clock and then I'll take you through the website. We're going to look at uh, our partners, supporters and sponsors and we're going to look at the road trips, uh, what we know so far about what we'll do, we'll be doing during the week of action in September. We'll also be announcing today a first for UK policing as a whole, our Safer Speeds Day. More to come on that uh, in a little while. And also we're going to talk about our podcast, which launches today and uh, runs for the next several months as well. There's a chance to ask questions. Please do so in the in the chat here on Teams and we'll do our best to answer them between half past 11 and 20 to 12, after which I'll just uh, sum up and, and talk about really what we're asking you to do next um as you know with me is uh, simon turner simon if you just give us a quick wave and uh, james luckhurst there so everyone knows who you are who doesn't already good morning uh, everyone coming on. brilliant i'll be coming on to uh, simon and james later uh, but first of all let's kick off straight away and have a look at our official launch video about people staying safe, concentrating on what they're doing and thinking about the, the, the problems there can be on the roads. There we are. That's our video and that's going to be telling uh, the public all about us over the next uh, few days. We're going to be pushing that out on social media and it'll be available for you to share by retweeting, liking, sharing on LinkedIn, that sort of thing. Just let's have a look at the uh, countdown now. I'll just bring that up on the screen if we can. Uh, I'll just. Uh, should be able to see that now, folks. Got it. There yes, we are. Yes, so we can. We, Thank you. Brilliant. So we are 100 days uh, and 100 and a half days to go. It, it really has brought things into focus over the last few weeks as we've led up to this. A lot of work has gone on behind the scenes and ourselves, uh, our team, newly expanded team, as well as our partners have been uh, working hard to bring you today. But that really puts it in focus. So the real work, I think, starts now for all of us in getting ready and, and carrying out some activity, not just online, but in the real world as well as we count down to the um, 13th of September. So I'm now going to uh, stop sharing that. And uh, just uh, if, if if just as you may have noticed during when we played the video, there's one problem with Teams that if you play a video, if anyone makes any noise, no one can hear the video. If you wouldn't mind just if you're not already muted, if you wouldn't mind just sort of muting yourself as we go through, um, just so we can... Uh, play out the videos cleanly. Like I say, it's a bit of an issue with teams that you can jump in and just cut that off. So um, thanks for that. So I'm going to just take you through the website now. So just bear with me again as I share the screen. And we are sharing. Let's have a look. Pick the right one. <laughs> OK, here we go. So you should all be able to see that now. Can I, someone just confirm they can see that? Yes, my yeah. Own. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. OK, so this is the new new expanded website that we're launching today. You've got the countdown taking pride of place there and the official video will be launching shortly. That will appear um, in a few minutes time. Um, I don't need to. 
I don't intend taking you through every page, but um, we've got details of all our fantastic sponsors there and there's more coming soon. The key things that we're launching today on the website are the pledge. Those of you that have worked with us before on Project Edward will know our famous pre pledge, something we've done from the beginning in 2016, where we have we've simplified it, though. We thought about what it really means. I think when we first started, we had about 12 or 14 bullet points that we were asking people to sign up to. Bit cumbersome. We're now saying I pledge that I'll play my part in reducing risk by ensuring I'm fit for the road on all journeys. And you can see the other line there. So we're we're just simplifying the pledge. It's a really simple thing to do. You fill in your name, your email address. If you want to add a message of support, you can. Um, and then we also have a box where people can tick if they'd like us to keep them updated with uh, Edward News and we intend to start emailing out uh, updates uh, as soon as we can. Now once people are pledged there's two things they can do. There's a one click tweet button where people can click and they can uh, this writes the tweet for them, by the way, so that, that everything that you see there will appear on their screen and they can tweet their support. Hopefully that will start the chain reaction so other people will see that, they'll retweet it, they'll even, click, even hopefully click on the link and pledge themselves. So we build up pledges. I think the key thing is we're not looking at pledges as some sort of target. We need to hit X number of pledges. As you know, it's mainly about social media reach and we look at how many people we can get to on, on the on the platforms, both the business networking platforms and social networking platforms. But it's good to see some pledges as that drives a sort of traffic, if you like, to the site. So we've got the pledge there uh, on Twitter, but also people will get a certificate that they can print out and put on the wall, um, <laughs> hopefully behind them. So um, they can, people can see it in the virtual meetings, those people that haven't left the house yet. Uh, they'll be able to show that off there. But people that are uh, travelling around and moving now can pop that up in the office so people can see how proud they are that they've signed the pledge. But like I say, the main thing is that, that starts a chain reaction, keeps the conversation going and brings people to the website. We also launched the Partner Zone today, which is for, well, you really, it's for practitioners, it's for sponsors, it's for people that are involved um, or just wanting to support us. And uh, we've got the graphic there, 16 different versions of the Project Edward logo there to choose from. Um, and also some social media guidance, but also we've got the June Twitter calendar, which you can go into, and that's a complete guide as to what we'll, we'll be publishing, including all the images, and uh, that will hopefully act as inspiration for people that are looking to put things out on social media. But we've also got day-by-day -day social media images. So uh, at Neil Jusen Smith, our social media lead, has put together some really smart graphics count as we count down the 100 days. So if you see there, you can go on to, you can download a zip file that's got all the images in for each week. So it's a quite a comprehensive set of resources there um, for the brand and for promoting Edward. But we do encourage people, obviously, put your own spin on it as well, link it in with your initiatives um, and um, let us know if there's anything, you, you, any what suggestions you want to make for um, anything we can include on there that you think might help others or anything you've developed. We've also got um, the uh, media zone, which includes a copy of the video, or it will do in about 15 minutes time, the dates as well. We've also got our media releases in there. There's one that's gone out today, which you may want to have a look at, download, maybe help spread that out or use that as the basis for something you're putting out. We, we're happy for you to uh, borrow with pride. Uh, some brand guidance as well. And then those familiar, that familiar group of uh, 16 uh, logos there. So that is the website. Let me just stop sharing that and bring everybody back up there. Um, and that's available now. There's also uh, in a short space of time will be access to our podcast, which we're very proud of. And I'll, I'll let my colleagues talk about that in a moment. Um, please do have a look. Please do encourage people to have a look as well. That's I haven't shown you everything, but feel free to put some links to these sections on um, social media or as you put them out. People can visit, people can pledge, people can look at the resources, people can look at videos from our supporters as well, and they can make a pledge. So that's really a wrap up of the website. You've seen the countdown now. I'm now going to hand over to, I think, Simon, who's going to start talking about our partners. Thank you, Neil. Uh, good morning, everyone. I shall just share my screen so I can show you uh, who we've got involved uh, and who's supporting us so far. So... I think that should be sharing now. Oh. Is that uh, you can see that? Can you Neil now? Clear, Simon. Right. So um, yes. Yeah, so just to uh, recap, what's gone on today? So the, these are our key dates that we announced in the in the previous presentation back in March. Uh, as you can see, our new website's gone live and lots of stuff 
on there already uh, to go and play with and lots of stuff going to be going on there over the next 100 days. We've begun the countdown and the podcast are going to launch uh, today, which James is going to cover a little later in this presentation. Uh, as we go through the 100 days, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff out on social media, launching new partners and la launching more details about some of the events in the road trip as, as we finalise those. And that's going to lead up to our first uh, physical event, which is our, going to be our launch event in Westminster, which uh, Karen Smith MP has kindly agreed to sponsor. Uh, and that's going to precede our week of action, which is going to consist of uh, three separate vehicles uh, roaming the country, um, visiting uh, examples of best practice in uh, road risk and, and road safety, uh, examples of good practice that support the safe system. And they'll be supported by uh, some other digital events and also social media competitions that we'll be running uh, across the programme. And then as we go uh, beyond the week of action, we'll be wrapping all of that up, reviewing what we've done uh, and sharing other resources as well. So as we get on to partners, supporters and sponsors, these are uh, organisations that we are incredibly grateful to for their support so far. Uh, the top two rows are our uh, partners who are helping us with a number of events and technical expertise, uh, um, laying on some of these events that we're going to be visiting, uh, which I'll talk to you about uh, in a second. And then uh, the organisations in the bottom two rows who have very kindly financially supported us uh, for this year. Uh, their contributions are very gratefully received and they will be getting uh, quite heavily involved in some of the uh, trip activities as well as we go through. So we're currently work, uh, talking to a number of other organisations as well. So uh, sponsorship of the events currently going very well. Uh, that shows you roughly where we are. When we were in, uh, had our meeting in March, we said we were looking to raise £70,000 to cover the cost of the trip. We've already got 40. We're currently uh, hopefully closing another 15 to 20,000 in the next uh, couple of weeks. So we're very, very close now to our overall target, which means that everything we've spoken about over the last couple of months that we've been trying to put together for this and put a really exciting, uh, imaginative programme of events together, it looks like we're going to be able to uh, confirm that we'll be able to do all of that. So really, really uh, well done to everybody involved and thank you everybody who's committed to supporting us throughout this year. So on to the road trip. That is a rough plan of where we're looking to go at the moment. The plan is to have three cars. Uh, one is going to start from Scotland. One's going to start from the southeast um, or the east and work around the southeast. And then the other one is going to start from the southwest and work up uh, towards the Midlands. Now, we're currently final, finalising the exact details of each of those stops and we'll start to release those as part of the social media program in the 100 day build up. Um, we've got a, a mix of events, which I'll talk to you about on the next slide. But one of the key things about this is Safer Speeds Day, which Neil mentioned earlier, and James is gonna talk about in a few uh, slides time. The the only day we haven't finalised at the moment is Friday because we're looking to arrange an event where all three cars can meet up uh, and put a, um, a really interesting final day's event on, uh, including a review of what we've done in the previous four days. So we're looking to finalise that at the moment and that'll be one of the big announcements that we make over the, uh, the, over the coming months as we lead up to that. The road trip in total uh, will cover about 2,000 miles. and uh, The blue car has to go a little bit further as it's starting a lot further north. But part of what we're hoping to do with this as well is run the, the road trips in electric vehicles now. And there will be a sustainability challenge amongst all three so that we can do uh, the three legs of the road trip as safely and efficiently as possible. Uh, one of the really cool things about this is 
our tracking partner Webfleet Solutions is going to fit a temporary tracking system into all of those vehicles, which will feed into the website. So during the week, everybody will be able to see exactly where those vehicles are, where we're going, and we're hoping to run some competitions around that as well. So people can guess where we are and where we're going next with uh, some prizes of free dash cameras, courtesy of our dash cam partner, uh, Next Base. So I think that week is going to be a really, really engaging week of activity and competitions, which we're really looking forward to. Now, the events that we've got planned for those, as we said in the last pr uh, presentation, will be all around promoting good practice uh, of the safe system. So with the five sort of themes within that, we've got events planned that we'll, that we'll be visiting that promote Vision Zero road safety strategies. I think we've got five stops uh, that promote that. Some of those are established Vision Zero strategies that are in place now, and we're gonna be talking about how they've been implemented and what sort of uh, outcomes they're, they're looking to achieve. Plus, we're hoping to have two or three brand new road safety strategies launched as part of Pro Project Edward Week. Uh, with the Road Safety Foundation, we're going to be looking at how better road design leads to reductions in collisions and, and incidents as well. So we're going to be visiting some of the most improved roads in the country and talking about exactly what better road design and, and infrastructure involves. We've got some collision avoidance technology demonstrations, which we're going to be running in conjunction with Thatcham Research and the Towards Zero Foundation. So they're going to be very visually interesting uh, as well, with hopefully some uh, very interesting guests as part of those demonstrations as well. We've got some driver training and education projects that we're going to visit, including some really uh, unique virtual reality uh, driver training programs, both for young drivers, uh, private drivers, and for business drivers as well. We'll be visiting one of the biggest fleets in the country to see exactly how they implement that technology to both provide a safe induction to their work drivers uh, and train uh, and provide ongoing training to drivers. And then another key part of this is post-crash care, and we'll be visiting projects that both promote uh, and, and help with roadside assistance, so immediate assistance to uh, victims of road incidents, and also uh, post-crash trauma care. Um, so once they've been uh, successfully removed from the roadside and stabilised, we'll be looking at how, uh, how they're treated successfully uh, after that. So we've got so far a really, really interesting program of events uh, which will be as i say we'll be launching those on social media over the coming weeks um so that leads us on to safer speeds day and i'm going to hand over to james at this point to talk about that one thank you very much good morning everybody the national safe speeds day um is uh, is taken from previous um, operations that that we've been involved with uh, across Europe and more recently um, in the Republic of Ireland. And the idea is to bring all the England and Wales police forces together, Police Scotland and the Police Service of Northern Ireland, um, to, to do a, a, a very high profile focus for 24 hours on enc um, encouraging compliant, safe and legal speeds. So this is going to take place during on the Wednesday of Project Edward Week, National Safe Speeds Day, um, with the approval of the organisations you, you, you see below and the involvement of them, uh, starting seven o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, the 15th of September and running for a 24 hour period. The, the plan is to get as many white caps on street corners as possible across the UK. Okay, that's the that's what the, the, the high profile request is. So for, um, we would like every single force to play its part. We are trying to ensure that the administrative burden will be minimised. In other countries, they record the number of vehicles um, that were, as they would say, controlled, checked, uh, and the number of offences. Now, that's that puts quite a burden on, on an officer at the roadside. So 
we purely want to try you know, as we would want to try every day we don't want anyone to die any day but on this particular day um the, on on that wednesday we want to try and um, measure the success of that day um by aiming for for zero deaths um so what we are looking to do and i suppose i'm, I'm speaking to, to to police forces here really um you know, for, for police chiefs to assign as many officers as possible to conduct high profile speed checks um, across your force area, um, maximize that halo effect on driver behavior. Um, but in the, in the process, gain support from your chief officers, from your police and crime commissioner, the mayor, the local MP, other political influences, um, encourage them to be high profile there as well. Um, we'll we'll give you a separate sort of briefing information on that um, as well as that as well as all the white hats as far and wide as we can get then deploy the the camera vans and other mobile speed enforcement units um, mobile mobilize your community speed watch groups to to take part and share significant results so you know if there are high speeds detected um, share that on social media but if there are examples of 100% compliance that's great that's what we want so share that too um that will be that can be shared also via the the NERPOI reporting system um and get your media team on board to to um, you know to get the maximum publicity leading up to the event and um and throughout the 24 hours there will be a a, a, a major briefing on this um on wednesday the 4th of august at 2 p.m. So put that in your diary. That will be part of the briefing for the vulnerable uh, road users um, week, which is um, happening at the same time as as Project Edward. So um, please please watch out for that, and um, if you possibly can, then 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 take part. One quite interesting thing that we we're, we'll be looking at one of the road trips. We'll be going to Lincolnshire, um, where they have police community support officers who are. Um, authorized by the chief constable to, to do speed enforcement and we'll be looking at that as an example of good practice with a view to saying well if they can do it um who else can do it and if you can't if you're not doing it why not um so that hopefully will be something as, as a useful add-on to that so that is national safe speeds day where we would like every police force to take part i hope that's helpful um we'll Quick word about the podcast. Um, this is, aha, look at that. How about that? Well done, whoever took that photograph. <laughs> um, that photograph shows my good self um, in the same shirt. I do change it sometimes. And and Neil, the, the, the first episode will be, is live now. It's, it's a half an hour discussion today. I had the pleasure of a, a virtual studio um, encounter with Claire Hoyland from FireAid talking about how they support post-crash care um, in countries where you know, the, the resources are reduced. Um, and Nick Simmons from Road Peace looking at the, 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 what, what's necessary, what, how they help um, victims' families um, in, in the wake of a, of a, of a collision. And um, Cheryl Pinner, from HCC solicitors um, looking at her role she was a family liaison officer um, but just looking at the what's necessary and what, what why someone would volunteer for that role uh, and what what it takes to be an effective FLO so do take a tune into that and um, that's that's live now on various podcast channels you can you can also subscribe via the Project Edward website and we have a fortnightly um, series starting it starts now and it will go on till the 3rd of December so you may have a story to tell please get in touch we would love to involve you, you know, there's there's lots of topics next time um, we're talking to David Davies from PACTS um, as well as Ian Lewin from DTEC um, and they're considering ways of um, uh, kind of um, reinvigorating uh, drink drive uh, efforts, uh, enforcement and drug driving, and also looking at um, fin in, from Finland, we'll be talking to somebody who heads their programme of alcohol interlocks for 
um, for repeat offenders in drink driving. So that's in a fortnight from now and it will go on from there. So please do tune in. So that is the podcast. James, I'll just come in at that point, if I may. We've got a, a few messages from some of our uh, sponsors and other partners that I'd just like to play you just to show you the breadth of uh, support that we have. So I'm going to show you two videos, one after the other now. The first one is sort of an amalgamation of uh, messages from our sponsors. So, uh, Paul, if you wouldn't mind playing the second video, please, that would be great. Hi. I'm Chris Spinks, I'm Managing Director of Wescotec Traffic Safety Systems Company and we've been supporting Project Edward for the last four years. Join us for a week of action in September so we can work together to achieve zero road deaths every day. Hi, my name is Bryn Brook and I'm Head of Marketing at Nextbase Dashcams. We know that dashcams are a really important tool to help keep the UK's roads safe by protecting yourself and catching dangerous drivers. We're really, really proud to be supporting Project Edward so do everything you can to keep the UK's roads safe uh, and make sure you've got a dash cam. Hi, I'm Ian Lewin from DTEC uh, with the drug wipe device and we are proud to once again be involved with Project Edward to help educate on the dangers of drug driving and its ever increasing prevalence in our society and on our roads. 100 days and counting. Good luck Project Edward. Hello. My name is Patrick Maguire and I'm a partner specialising in fatal and catastrophic injury at HEC Solicitors in London. HEC is extremely proud to be supporting Project Edward in 2021. All too often in my line of work, I see the sad, life-changing consequences for people and their families when the worst happens. Please be safe, vigilant and be fit for the road and support Project Edward for their week of action. Thank you. Hello, I'm Neil Worth, I'm the Chief Executive of Gem Motoring Assist. We've proudly supported Project Edward since, since 2016 and we're incredibly pleased to be able to do so again this year. We started life in 1932 as a road safety association and it remains at the heart of everything that we do today. We believe everybody should be supporting Project Edward because it's such a fantastic initiative. Everyone can pay their part to keep each other safe on the roads. Inoptic are proud supporters of Project Edward for 2021. As a business whose everyday purpose is about making roads and journeys safer for everyone, we will continue to use this initiative as part of the drive towards zero deaths on our roads. Hi, I'm Colin Patterson from Drive Tech. We're a leader in driver training and we're part of the AA. Project Edward is a great campaign to emphasise just how important road safety and perhaps even more importantly, the need for road risk reduction really is. We want everyone to be fit and safe for the road. DriveTech wholeheartedly supports this campaign and we look forward to a fantastic effort in 2021. As you can see there, quite a, a breadth of support and it was interesting watching some of you watching yourselves on there, the different reactions I saw to some of that on there. Um, James is going to be taking your questions in a moment via the chat facility on Teams. So if you've got anything you want to ask or, or any quick suggestions or you know, conversation requests, if you want to catch up with us about some ideas afterwards, please pop them in the, the chat box now while I play you this next video, which is and final video, which is a message from um Police Scotland and uh, showing the uh, depth of support we have there. We always have there when we do anything in Scotland. We've always got full, full throated support from them. So it's nice to get this video message of support, which I think uh, Paul will play you now. Every road death is a tragedy, whatever the circumstances, and devastating for everyone involved. Road deaths are avoidable, and we all have a part to play in improving road safety. So pedestrians, cyclists, riders, and drivers, please play your part and help keep us safe on Scotland's roads. We are proud to be supporting Project Edward. And there we are. So uh, over to you, James. Right. Let me have a look at, are there any questions? Oh, yes, quite a few, actually. Um, right. Give me a second to just uh, just take a look. Um, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Um, I'm just I, I can't see any actual questions at the moment. Um, I can see um, people who have joined and people um, who, who are involved. But uh, um, one question about contributing to a podcast coming soon and what we can do and 
and when. Um, the, but basically, drop me an email, james at projectedward.org. Say I'm interested in being part of a forthcoming podcast. We can we can then establish what you would like to be to be talking about. Um, we're trying we're we're keen to make sure that um everybody on it kind of earns their keep on it and has something useful to say and you know, that, that so that from a a, view, a listener's point of view you'll learn something from 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 that experience but any examples of good practice that you want to share um, uh, or, or particular breakthroughs in in areas lovely please let us know so email me and um, i can take it from there james at projectedward.org uh, a question about the new P NPCC lead for roads policing, um, CC Shiner from from Sussex Police. Um, I I can't say that we have had a formal um, signing up from from CC Shiner. I'm I'm very hopeful that 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 will come. So, um, but there hasn't been a, a, a formal conversation. Although there is an ongoing conversation with Sussex Police and East Sussex Fire and Rescue. Um, as well as Surrey Fire and West Rescue um, to be involving them in, in one of the road trips. So that's that's um, all looking positive. Um, where is the meeting of the three vehicles on the roadshow likely to converge? Rough idea of location in the UK. I'm not going to say anything yet because I, I simply don't know. What I did notice actually in the map of the uh, of, of the road trips that it looks like I, I have to go by sea across the Jurassic Coast. Um, so that will be interesting. I'll need an amphibious electric vehicle, please. Um, so no problem. Yeah, I've got one just just there. No problem, James. OK, but as soon as we know anything about that meeting of the three vehicles on the roadshow, yes, of course, we'll um, um, we will uh, share that. Um, another question here. Um, use the asset using the assets for your own internal brand purposes. Um, Neil, you might want to help jump in on this. Can you see that chat question? Yes, I'm, I'm also seeing a couple of few messages that saying uh, certain people don't have access to the chat. If that's the case, um, if you could maybe do, ha, raise your hand using the raise your hand button, that'll at least give us an indication that um, it's not working for some of you. But uh, if, if you have got access to the chat, put your questions in. So brand assets. Yeah, I mean, we are there are some guidelines in there if you go into the partner zone the the graphics are in there um the edward logo has a color palette the edward logo has a few different options though so there's ones for a dark background one for a light background on re they're downloadable on requests we have sort of monochrome single color ones that are all white that can go on a, on a dark background and vice versa so we can get that all for you if, if you need it we've also got those sort of high level uh, those high resolution ones for printers eps's and that sort of thing without getting too much into the weeds of it we've got all sorts colors in answer to the question colors are, are sort of fixed in terms of our branding but if you want to combine that elsewhere in the image with your branding that's that's fine so so it's our you know our colors are quite fixed but you can use your own branding sort of alongside it if you're supporting the um, initiative hopefully that answers the question james and i will give a shout out because the person who sent that question chris dell um is a special on roads policing in thames valley um so uh, thank you chris for everything that you do um, and the next question, can I swim? <laughs> I'm not, I'm hoping not to have to, if we can find that amphibious vehicle. Um, right, have I missed anything? I think we're, um, I think we're done. Um, do any, are any hands up, Neil? Are you looking? Oh, I can't see any hands up. So I think we got that chat problem sorted out um, and everyone was able to, to contribute. But James, you've given your email address. If, if anyone has any queries, do, do get in touch with any of us, either through the website or, or through email, and we, we're happy to help. It's an ongoing conversation. There's no monopoly on good ideas. Uh, we're happy to help. James, if, if, if you're happy to um, draw a line under the questions, I'll, uh, I'll wrap up if that's OK. Yeah, go for it. James, Dean had his hand up. Oh, OK. Go on, Dean. I don't know if you're still there. I was there, just going to clarify the NPCC position. So, um, it's if you look at our new operations calendar, which was published um, a month, six weeks ago, we've got Vulnerable Road Users Week, 13th to the 19th of September, and Edward is in there. What we didn't have when we published was the date um, for the specific 24 hours. So, it will be supported by Joe Shiner as the new lead. Fantastic. Okay. 
That's brilliant news. Thanks for that, Dean. Really appreciate that. So I will move on just to close now. And what we want you to do, as ever, is, is get involved. Or I think it's fair with many of you to say stay involved because we're really grateful for your support so far. You've helped us out a lot with your contributions of ideas for the road trip, uh, support on social media. We've seen them. I think we've replied to a lot of them. Uh, Neil, who is running uh, our social media, has done his best to, to dip in and reply and like and share your tweets as well. So keep them coming. Um, and we'll be working with you on there. But we, we want you to stay involved. Obviously, we'll get more involved over the next 100 days and, and use the tools in the partner zone. I can't really say that enough. We've got the logos for you to, to use to support. Our sponsors will shortly be getting our official supporter logo. Um, so that will be something they can put on the website. So those of you that hear from our sponsors, again, thank you. But you, that logo will be wigging its way to you soon. Use the social media images and the calendar. You're welcome to use all of our countdown images. You're welcome to co-brand them if you're supporting us. And if you weren't supporting us, why would you be here? So please do join in with, with the social media conversation as well. We'd like you, if you can, on in your messaging to also talk about the podcast and the pledge as appropriate. We don't want you to necessarily shoehorn it in, shoehorn it into every conversation, but do talk about the podcast. You'll be able to see when you go into the um, podcast on your favourite platform or through our website. There's episodes details as each one is published. So if there's an episode uh, that matches a line of work you're involved in, you may want to link to that particular episode. But do talk about the podcast and the pledge, and try and send us some traffic to the website if you can, because it really does help us drive the message which is what we're all about here. And also think about activities that you can plan for the week of action. As you've seen from the road trip, it's pretty much um, uh, set now. Uh, we've got a few things we're just finalising and we may need to come out to our community here of, of, of road safety practitioners for one or two um, final ideas. Friday, as you can see, we're working on that converging that was mentioned in the chat there. That's being worked on. But have a think about what you can plan. And, and, and you have our assurance that if it's a good piece of road safety activity and it meets you know, the safe system and the project Edward Ames, we will try to feature it, be that on social media or one of our nine live broadcasts that we're planning for the week. So have a think about it. If you want to run any ideas past us that you'd like us to not necessarily approve, but, you know, Give, give you a sort of a, a steer happy to do that if there's something you want us to feature let us know get involved with us um, in that conversation privately or on social media it's entirely up to you and obviously when you do get involved on social media please use that hashtag that hashtag you see there is where is how we will measure our reach and as you see if you've been involved with us in previous years that's our what we'd call our key metric is how many people we reach with our messaging so please use that everywhere you can and there'll be a there'll be an additional one for the um safe speeds day as well but for now for most of the edward activity it's that so that is it um, please do keep the conversation going we'll um if i can see some other questions coming in which we can respond to um offline um, Neil, but, James, and we will put his hand up. Yes. Oh, sorry, James, just before I close, go for it. It's just to, um, the, a few people have asked about sharing this presentation and the videos, um, which we're yes. very happy to do. What we're going to do is we're going to just uh, cut down the video into a nice sort of manageable package. We'll just get rid of a few of the uh, the blips that we had at the beginning and put that into a nice package alongside the presentation. So if you just bear with us for a day or so, absolutely, we'll have that to you. I think we'll probably put it on the website like we did with the last team's presentation. So if you don't mind bearing with us, bearing with us on that, it's a good good call. Was that is that all of that, James? Brilliant. You may lower your hand. <laughs> Thanks very much to everyone for joining us and for giving us your time for the last 45 minutes. And uh, we hope we'll see more of you over the coming months. And thanks again for your support. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.